Of course, ladies and gentlemen, back on the Tiger again today. Yeah, just one or two little jobs. One, changing that. I bodged it up with some super glue. It seems to have held, but I got another one because I want it to be a proper job. And there you go, one replacement. Let's get it on. Get it on. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, good job I was changing that. So the handy thing is, I can take one of the rubbers off here to mount down there because it looks like it's been jiggling around for quite some time. It's not through, but it's not not nice. Hmm. Yeah, also got four screws coming from uh, China because these ones aren't looking great either. Hmm. Right, let's get it back in. There we go, all back and secure. Excellent. Yeah, it's got plenty of movement now. It's got the proper rubber down there that it's supposed to sit in so it doesn't bounce around anymore. Everything's tight, everything's secure. Jobs are good. Now my next little job is going to seem a bit strange. Let me explain. I have ordered now from three different companies three exhaust systems for this car. Um, all of them not that cheap, if I'm honest. And all of them come back to me and gave me a refund because apparently what they said they had in stock, they haven't got in stock. So I cannot find the exhaust system for this car. Now, the exhaust on this, I'll get you in here, as you can see there, all that's happened is that bottom bit's rotted away. Um, and it's basically made that weakened. It isn't blowing anywhere else that I can see. The rest of the exhaust looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to plate in these areas here. Now I know that seems really stupid and why don't I just buy a new exhaust? Well I've just explained why. Because I can't get one. I can get a full system. I have found one and uh, it's over, well nearly 600 quid. Which, yeah, is a lot of money to be honest. Now if I can't repair this I'm going to have to buy one. But I think the rest of it's pretty solid and this is only an outer skin anyway that holds this in place so i reckon if i plate that up you can see it's not black around there it's not blowing it's just rotten so i reckon yeah with a little bit of know-how i can make this old exhaust good again there's have a go it's got to get it off first that's going to be a struggle i know well i didn't think it was going to go very well and uh, i wasn't disappointed yeah, to be honest, the more I'm trying to get it off, um, the more it's breaking up. And it's, even the center section, I think, is is on its way out. So, yeah, it was um, it was a good idea. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and, uh, and buy new, which is going to be very expensive. But, hey, such is life, eh? Such is life. So that's one job abandoned. But while I'm here, um, I've got a new fuel filter to put on there. So let's get that done. And also, um, I've got some tins for the back of these brakes. Um, they're going to take some fettling and some modifying. But, um, yeah, probably we'll have a go at that as well. So one brand new shiny, WK512. There we go. Is that the same we've got on? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, seems to be. Right, let's get it off. Oh, look at all that precious fuel leaking out. No. Ah, old cars, you gotta love them. So, um, <laughs> yeah, put the new filter in, but these clips are, are very weak. Um, it's holding at the moment, but if I move it, I do get a little drip from it. Not happy with it at all. So I've got a couple on order, uh, so I won't be using it anyway. I've um, also got a new exhaust pipe on order, so that's going to come next week as well. This car's going to be like brand new when I'm finished, but as you can see underneath, uh, nothing wrong with it. It's definitely well worth saving and keeping on the road. Good little car, this one. Um, right, I have got an oil filter and some oil for this as well, so maybe... That's one job I can do without something going wrong. Oh, no, no, shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. Right, let's um, let's see what 
a cock up down here then. Actually, thinking about it, I did say about doing these tins. Yeah, maybe I should do the tins. Because I think that's going to be a bit of a pain in the backside, personally, to do. So, yeah, let's give it a go. What a flaming numpty. What's in the box? Duh. <laughs> right, well, after my uh, moment of stupidity, and they happen, it's done. New clips are in there. Right, now, I'm going to have a look at the back wheel. <laughs> So you watched me take the hub off last time, no need to go through that again. Um, these are the new tins I've got, but they have no hole for any of this. Um, so I've got to fabricate it slightly. Right, that way, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fit a corset, do they? Yeah. Don't think they do. These are going back. So that was a complete waste of time, but uh, you live and learn. Maybe I should have done the uh, the oil change after all. <laughs> um, yeah, those tins, um, yeah, supposed to fit a Corsa. <laughs> Nowhere near, far too big. So they're going back. Um, it is really difficult to get the, the back tins for these. I mean, yeah, they don't need them. It's just me being me. Um, but I think I'm probably gonna admit defeat on this one. Uh, there's more important things to do. All right, let's um, let's get the oil changed anyway. So, a bit of a precursor. That's the nuts I need to get off when the new exhaust turns up. And, uh, all right, there's the sump plug. And we have got a... Oh, God, it's dark and dark, I can't see a damn thing. Uh, can you see that? Can you see it? T40. There you go, T40 in there. Little socket on there, where's my wrench? There you go, she's loose. And there's a the van. <laughs> right, yeah, where was I? Yeah. Right, some plug out. Oh dear, it's a little bit on the tight side. Oh, there we go, loose. And we're out. There you go, lovely oil. You can never really tell if oil is good or bad, but it doesn't smell too bad. It doesn't look too filthy. But it's getting some new stuff. Bonus. Yeah, and the oil filter's in a wonderful place. Yeah, stuck up there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy. And the only thing I've got to fit it is that. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at getting another tool, I think. It's all right, but it can be a pain as well. Right, I think I managed to get purchase on it. There you go. Just managed to turn it a little. It's going to be slow progress. Join me in a minute. Right, oil drained. New filter in. Somewhere up there. Yeah, you get the idea. And now it's time to get the fluids in. Of course, the best funnels ever. And with a fully synthetic for her. Yeah, I'm getting on really good with this drive tech stuff. Yeah, it's from GSF. Really good oil. Um, seems to stand the test of time. You get some great reviews. Not a bad price either. Right. About four and a half litres in. We're up to the level. And now, cap back on. Quick start. Obviously check for leaks. And then... See where the oil level sits. There we go, she's clearing away nicely. Let's give that a minute to circulate. Any leaks? Don't think so. And you probably can't see it, but we are up to the top mark. Now that's after it's been started, run for 30 seconds. And then, well, basically sat there for five minutes, draining the oil back. So we are good. The oil is changed. Simple as. And you know the score by now, oil gets put away responsibly into a tub taken down the recycling centre. We done. Well, I'll be honest, that was a day of a few ups and downs. Uh, what did we learn? The oil change went well. Uh, the exhaust had it. 
new one on the way. The tins, waste of time. Um, but the Tigra's running great. <laughs> so if you can look after old cars, they'll look after you. <sighs> That'll do for now. I am shattered. And the dog needs walking, so catch you later, internet. Filthy, filthy.